out of the back window in the smallest back window ever. It's like an obstacle course. A few moments later. Two thousand years later. Gotta make sure that lift is down. Oh. Funny, I've had this car for almost a month now. It's still got like a hundred miles on it. Boring. Look at that, that's kind of cool. Hybrid vehicle. Hybrid. Perfect. Okay guys, so we're back. We're working on these prints uh, for a long time now. We finally got the silk screen to do the prints. So we're excited. We're going to pull some screens. Uh, we're going to get working on the prints. Let's go. Okay, so this is the silk screen for the print. This is the black outline. And uh, yeah, so all the silk screens you're seeing are all hand pulled. We're going to pull one right now and see how it goes. Okay, here we go. This is exciting. I haven't pulled the silk screen in years. So let's do this. This is the final resort. Let's see. Okay, it's a little light. This is backyard style. Wow, okay, so we just pulled the screen. These are little test runs to see how it's looking. This is how it's gonna look on the print. Um, it's interesting, I haven't pulled a screen in maybe 10 years. I used to do them a long time ago, kind of shied away from silk screens, but they're actually pretty fun to do and they look pretty cool. So these ones, I'm gonna do a lot similar style to, to Andy Warhol how Andy Warhol would pull the screen, then paint colors, and then pull the screen again. So, let's see, these could be cool. These are gonna be uh, multicolored, so very interested to see how these come out. Okay, so now we're gonna paint on what we did on the silk screen. This is very Andy Warhol style, where he would print the silk screen, then splatter paint on it, paint it, let it drip, and then do the silk screen back over for the black, so. Right now, we're going to paint some acrylic paints on it. I'm going to do some blue tones, because I, I kind of like blue with this vibe. Uh, we're going to make it really drippy, so we can splatter it. So I'm going to mix some of this golden. This is a custom golden acrylic paint that I had custom ordered. going to make it super uh, watery, so it's good for splattering. I see in the comments, they ask, how do you get the paint to drip like that? The key is you mix the paint with water and it's all about the right ratio of water because if you have too much water, then it'll drip too much. If you have too much paint, it won't drip at all. So it's just a balance of the water. What you do is you put a little water in, then you mix it. You can always, it's easier to put more water in than more paint. So I always put a, a little bit of water at a time and then, and then add more, just a little at a time. See that? Still too sick, but it's good to just do a little at a time. Painting the background. Give it a little texture by mixing in a little darker blue. Okay, so that blue was a little too dark for me, honestly. So I'm gonna do a little magic, put some white in there, get this a little lighter. I've been really liking the Tiffany blue recently. So I'm gonna get this lighter. See how. Still too dark. Look at that. Ooh, let's go. Okay. Huh. We're just testing it out on this canvas. 
There's no mistakes in art. That's what everyone says. He would paint it. Silk screen, paint. Kind of fun. It's like filling in the... It's like a coloring book. Not to take away from Andy Warhol, but... Okay, now let's try something cool. With... But it's going to be kind of a unique edition. I'm going to do a couple different colorways. So let's have fun with this. Let's do a... So I'll show you how I get some of my inspiration. A lot of my inspiration is from other artists. Obviously, we're following Andy Warhol with this one. Andy Warhol, Mary Lynn Monroe. So I'm going to kind of see some of the colorways. Andy Warhol. Ah, uh, yes. He showed his colorways. So here, he was one of the best colorists in the world. So let's follow some of his colors because these are fun. We did blue. Let's do pink now. I was really liking the effect of doing the white around. If you notice in my spray paint pieces, I do a white force field. So I kind of like painting the white in around it. And then, um, and then, and then adding it later. So let's check this out. Let's try this with the pink. Let's see how this works out. I'm putting it on very thick so we can kind of get some cool effects with it, with the pink. Okay, here goes the pink. <laughs> fans to get it to dry really quickly. These fans get it drying fast. That's no good. That's too thin. That's when you put too much water in it. It's a little better. I'm going to make like, I don't know. They're all going to be different color. Okay, so this was the first one you saw. We did... It with a blue background. Now we're going to paint the bowl pink and pink. Here's how I drip and splatter with this kind of paint. I'm going to show you now. I'm going to show you now. We add more water. Mix it. This is a nice mixture. Always test it on the wall first. That's perfect. You see those drips? Look how perfect those drips are. That looks nice. Very cool. Let this dry. <laughs> Feeling a yellow bowl for this guy. quite relaxing doing this. Usually I'm doing freehand or 
you know, doing spray paint. Nice working with all paint today. No fumes. Having fun with these colorways. This one I'm doing the dripping effect. Let's see how I mix the paint. Ooh, look at that. Look at the drips. That's looking good. I've never done this, but I'm gonna mix some spray paint with the acrylic and the silk screen. So this should be interesting. back finally finishing up the uh the bold pieces we started with uh the prints we signed all the prints and now we're doing a couple original canvases with the silk screen so let's do this this is our first one where we did the silk screen pulled first then we added the color and now we're going to pull the screen again and add some diamond dust so this should be interesting let's try this out so this one should be really interesting for me because i've never done a silk screen with spray paint and collage, there's acrylic as well. So this is gonna be interesting. We're gonna have to line it up. We're, I know you should only be doing one at a time. We're gonna try to do two. Let's see how it works with two. This is all kind of experimentation right now. So here we go. We're gonna line it up now. Pour in the ink. This is exciting. Let's see how this turns out. Okay. Hold that down for me. Bombi. Looks like a clean pull. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's see how this came out. Okay, it's a little off, but hey, I plan on painting on this a little bit with black anyways, so it's all good. Let's try one more. You know, it's not the flattest surface, so probably where it gets screwed up. Oh, that one came out better. Just needs some touching up, but not so bad. Okay, I think we, we got one more and then we gotta clean it. lot more ink going on canvas than on uh, than on the paper if you notice
Okay guys, thank you for tuning into the vlog. I'm very excited to do this print release with you guys and we have a couple of original pieces we're gonna send to the gallery over to Eden Fine Art. So click subscribe and like the video. This was a long process uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed the prints. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you next week or maybe the week after, I don't know. We're here. Yeah.